My name is Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. Are you at a point in your life where your relationships and success and everything's affected? This is where I can help. So today's topic is, why do we have a need for more money? But before I get started, it's a great way to kind of center the mind and make sure we're ready to get the information that we came here to listen to. So what I want you to do, I'm going to do the same thing with you, is I want you to close your eyes, like I'm about to do right now, and I want you to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as we do that, I'm going to say what you should be thinking to yourself. So here we go. Three, two, one, close your eyes. As I breathe in through my nose, I'm breathing confidence and success and power and love and determination. And as I breathe out through my mouth, I'm breathing low confidence, negativity, wrong mindset. As I breathe in through my nose, I'm breathing in confidence, power, smile, happiness, joy. As I exhale, I exhale negativity, self-doubt. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now we're ready to begin. So how many of us out there have fantasies about having nice cars, great job, vacations, uh, a, a huge portfolio, a big bank account, money to when things come up, we have no problem spending it, good credit. The list can go on and on about what we fantasize. And obviously, the more money we have, the more we can do more things, be it take time off or more vacations. But also, and the flip side, too, is a lot of people out there that have money to last generations. Uh, Bill Gage, Jeff Bezos, the list can go on and on. But there's a few, everybody probably knows out there, that have, they have money for generation. We all wish we can do the same thing. But what does a belief system around money really mean? So let's talk about belief systems. How many of us out there have experienced our parents telling us money doesn't grow on trees or that's too expensive or we can't be like Mrs. Jones down the street or Mrs. Susan down the street. They have too much money. We can't afford that. All these things have been told to us as kids and become the way we view money, meaning that I, I can't have enough money to buy the shoes when I was a kid, but I'm going to make sure I have enough money to do what I want now or more or less as our scarcity mindset. I'm going to give a quick example of my mindset when I was a kid. My dad owned his own business, and when I was 16, I'll never forget this, I'll share a story with you, is I never thought to myself, I own my own business. I saw my dad have go through employee issues, uh, tax issues. It was just all the stress, the, the overcoming of um, heart attacks and, and strokes, and uh, oh my God, it was just all over the place. I said I would never own a business in my life, but 30 years later, I stuck my, sorry, 20 years later, I stuck my foot in my mouth, and I own my own business, I'm happy I'm doing it because I'm able to help you guys out there. So since I was five years old, my dad would take me to his business, and especially on you know, spring breaks, uh, summer vacations, and also winter breaks, where I would actually talk to him and, you know, we would work together. I would work down there, and the idea was, son, I need your help. Come work with me. But more importantly, what was teaching me was a, a well-defined work ethic. So what, what the Intel title of me to do was that that means that I'm going to help my dad, and at the same time, unbeknownst to him, he taught me one thing is that if you're not working, you're not making money. That means in order to be successful, I have to work and make money. Well, yes, that has been true. You have to work to, to make money because we have to pay our bills and we have to earn an income because we do have to afford certain things in life. And I, I, if I didn't work and I couldn't afford to you notice know, have this camera in front of me shooting this live video or my computer to my right side. So I have to have money to do certain things in life. That's just the way it is. So his belief system became my belief system. And that is how I saw my life for over 20 years was I, in order to be successful, I have to work. But I didn't really understand how to work with a purpose. And what that entitles me to, I just kept working, 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 hoping for a better result. Now, again, that's my belief system around money. So your belief system may be different than mine. Your belief system is that, well, my parents told me to save money because if I don't save enough money, I won't have enough money. Well, look at it like this. If you have two fists, hold it up. Something has to go in and something comes out. If you're always having closed fists, take, 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 meaning that I'm constantly to save money, 
nothing can go in and nothing can go out. So you're obviously a net zero because you're constantly looking to save money. So it means everything comes in, but nothing goes out. In life, it really is something goes out and something comes in, okay? Something goes out and then something comes in. And that's the way you get more abundance out there in life is that I'm constantly going to give. That's the way it's going to be. So when we talk about this, is that we need to realize where we come through for money. And the money part is if we don't have enough, it creates scarcity mindsets. And that's not really going to help us in the long run. I'm going to take a look at my notes because I wrote a lot of good notes in this. So what we need to do is realize the why system. So when I did this myself is that I thought the more money I have, the more security I have, the more financial freedom. So what I started to do is I got into the why system. So the other day I was sitting reading a book by Jay Shetty and it kind of dawned on me, the why. And the why was very simple. Why do you want more money, Ron? Well, the more money I have, the more security I feel. So why do you want more security? Well, the more security I feel, the more that I'm not worried about having money. So why are you worried about not having money? Well, if I don't have the money, I won't be able to take care of my bills. Which makes you think you won't be able to take care of your bills? And boom, it hit me. It wasn't a fact of my scarcity mindset of money for so many years, it was the fact I want to be supported. So the more money I had, the more I feel supported and the more I feel I'm in control of my own life. Because for so many years, money controlled me, I didn't control, control, control money itself. It's like being on a drug, a drug is controlling you, but you're not controlling your money, what's controlling me? Because our thought is that the more money I have, the more freedom I have, and the more happiness I have. But in reality, I had no happiness at all because I was constantly looking forward and on the outside, instead of looking, I had all, all the happiness inside me. Another example is that when I was out there dating for so many years, I was buying those $300 pair of jeans, going to these nice dinners, taking these girls out because I thought that if I take these girls out to dinner, they would want me more. Well, the reality is I went on these nice dinners. I maybe didn't get date the girl. I didn't like the girl. Who knows what happened in those cases, but I still didn't get what I wanted. So I started realizing I need to re-engineer myself to find happiness inside. And going with Jay says why is the reality was I wasn't being supported. So more money I had, the more I felt supported. And when I was able to name something, in this case, be supported, I was able to actually release that energy. See, money itself even though it's an item, it has energy and the energy is what the meaning we give money. So when I was able to feel the release of energy behind money that I felt more supported, I was like, it makes sense now. The more money I have, the more I feel supported. And that lack of support, which means why I wanted more money so I can have more happiness because I felt more supported. And that's the idea. So if you go into a situation with lack, especially when it comes to money, why do you need more money? Why do you need more money? Like I did. Well, it's because I want more security. Why do you think you need more security? And go from there, can ask you the why question because you want to identify certain traits. It's not more or less releasing them and they never go and they never come back, but more or less knowing what that means and how to bring awareness to a certain issue and actually shift that. So that's why in the very beginning, I did those few seconds of just Breathing in confidence, breathing in power, breathing in joy, and exhaling negativity. Give my mind the right mindset and become more aware. Because when you're more aware of something, you obviously create a change and you feel much better. So again, this is Ron Johnson, your life coach, mentor coach. And thank you for listening to the live videos from Up Level RJ, from RJ Up Level Life Coaching. Because this is where you yourself have the power from inside. You can feel much better. But if you need to find me or you need help, or like I said, help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life, find me on the www.ronbusinesscoaching.com. I'll also be in this video so you guys can actually find me, connect with me. And obviously, I have a virtual seminar coming up December 21st to 23rd. So if in a position where you need really stress, feel stressed out, Go www.ronbusinesscoaching.com backslash virtual seminars and right then there, click and submit because you see all my seminars. You can join. I see a custom link and that way you can feel better. Thank you for listening.